Hey you guys, what's up? And I just want to talk to you about something. Um, don't mind my lips. I put a lot of lip gloss on. It has vitamin E on it. But I am so tired of people being so ignorant. And, you know, like, everybody has a situation in their lives that they're not proud of. Everybody has something that they don't like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you got to think about it that there's some people that are in worse, have worse situation than you are. So be grateful for what you are going through because what you're going through is what's going to make you grow as a person when you're older. You know what I mean? So, um, and I'm tired of people, you know, I had a comment on my YouTube channel, one of my videos. It was about, you know, women have just as much rights as men do, which is true. Um... Uh, this dude was talking about, I basically have sex with my man for food and a place to live, like a fucking prostitute. And that pissed me off, because no. For one, if I was a prostitute, I wouldn't be in a relationship with somebody. For two, if I was a prostitute, you probably couldn't even afford me. Let me tell you that. So, for anybody that, you know, keeps on coming at me... Yes, I live with my man, unless, yes, we live in a trailer, basically, but that's what we can afford, and for anybody that keeps on saying, oh, you own your trailer park, and blah, 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 and you're a prostitute, no, I'm not. I've been with my man for almost two years, okay? By February 17th of next month, my man and I have been together two years. And if I was a prostitute, I wouldn't be in a relationship. And I would never, ever be a prostitute because I have more respect for myself than that. And some women go out there and do what they do, but at the end of the day, you got to have enough respect for yourself to know what you need to do. And I'm not bashing, prostitu bashing prostitutes or anything like that. I'm just saying I would never be one. And just because I live with my man, and yes, we do have sex, which... Anybody that lives with each other, they probably have sex, does not mean I'm a prostitute. And just because my man and I live in a trailer park, does not mean we're trailer trash. And calling somebody a prostitute and trailer trash is just so disrespectful and so ignorant in so many ways. I've had, um, just so you guys know, um, I did say a video, the other one, some bad news is that um, my MRI that came back from Children's when I was at my mom's, I told you guys about. Um, it was for monitoring my kidneys to see if I have too much iron in my kidneys because the last time before the MRI, um, my blood came out that I had too much iron in my body. So um, the MRI came out and I got the results this morning. My doctor called me. And she told me that um, I got too much iron in my body and it's partially from all the blood transfusions I got when I had cancer. So um, I'm going to go have to go back in each month to Children's and get large amounts of blood drawn out of my body. And um, one thing my doctor did point out, or I did point out, I was like, hey, you know, I haven't had my periods because my birth control does not give me my periods. Um, I do the shot every three months. And she's like, well, if you weren't on your birth control, you'd be able to bleed and bleed that iron out and bleed out what you need to bleed. And that's probably why, that's par partially probably right, the reason why, you know, I have high iron in my body. But at the same time, my mom was like, maybe you should just get on the pill so you could bleed. But the same thing is, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not compatible with pills. I don't take pills and I'd probably forget to take my birth control pill if I switch my birth controls. So, and I am not ready to have no kid and I'm not going to bring a kid into this earth knowing I'm not ready and knowing that me and my man aren't ready to raise a kid together. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to take a birth control, a pill and not take it and end up pregnant. That's just not going to happen. Um, I have diabetes 2, guys, and I have diabetes 1, the more serious type. I think my mom has diabetes 2. And, you know, um, 
you guys don't know this, but probably don't know this, but the reason I have diabetes is because one of the chemos they gave me, I was allergic to, which I got pancreatitis, which I couldn't eat or drink for a month after that, and, um, and now I have diabetes for life, which it's okay, but at the same time, like, it sucks. It really does, guys, because, you know, poking yourself with a needle four times a day is just not... Like, look at this, guys. I have a bruise on my belly. I don't know if you guys can see it. See right there? I have a bruise on my belly because they say that if you take your lantus in your butt, which is the all long, long reacting insulin that, you know, keeps your sugars low during the day and at minimum, um, well, that I take in my butt and then I take my Humalog in my belly. So that is what it is and I just I just want people to start being positive and if you wanna if you wanna get to know me get to know me but please don't assume shit and be disrespectful and ignorant because it's just not gonna help you and I've been through a lot we all have been through a lot but just remember that hey you can't be so ignorant to say oh I've been through so much and I'm tired of this and blah 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 because guess what that's only going to make you stronger for when you're older. What I went through when I was younger made me who I am today, which a grown-ass woman. So, you know, you got to think of, hey, I'm going through this, but it's going to get better, and there's people that are going through worse than I am, so I need to be grateful for what I'm going through because it's going to make me stronger as a person later on in my years. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm just trying to let you guys know that just please don't come on here disrespectful please don't come on here ignorant and assuming shit just because of my living situation and me and my man and everything else you know um you can't assume shit and disrespect somebody and say shit if you don't really know that person personally in my opinion so and just just be grateful for what you're going through and be grateful that, hey, I went through that, I got better, and this is who I'm, who made me who I am today, you know what I mean? Um, or who's going to make you, or it's going to make you who you are in a couple of years. Um, so I love you guys and I will see you guys later. And... You know, look how much makeup I got in this bag. Look, it's all the way full. But I just wanted to let you guys know that whatever's going on in my life with my kidneys, my iron, I will get through it and it'll be okay. Um, for people that are diabetic out there, please take care of your insulin. Please take care of your body because um, there has been one friend that I talked to and her mom was in the ICU because they had a, she had a blood clot in her leg and they had to cut off both her legs because she would not take care of her herself and um, do her insulin like she was supposed to do. Good grief. When they told her she had to take some meds, she just, she would not take her meds when she was in the ICU and she's a grown ass woman. Um, so they had to put it in her IV and... You know, like, I understand that she may be in pain, but at the same time, she has grandkids. She has children of her own. Try not to be so selfish on what you decide in your life because just know there's people there for you and that if they were, if you were, if they were to lose you, it would hurt them very badly and it would leave a scar on tons of people that actually care about you. Anyways, guys, love you guys, and I will see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed this talk, and I hope I cleared up some things with you guys. Love you guys. Like and subscribe, and for anybody that's new, welcome to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye!